and the hypothesis test has five stages. We, we de define the hypothesis. Um, so let's say our five stages. Stage one okay, is the hypothesis. Okay? And the hypothesis has a null position and has an alternative position. Uh, the null position, I suppose, is that all of the all of the scores, uh, all of the scores are the same uh, across all of the particular measure po measurement points. Okay, so I suppose really what we're saying is that the scores that the scores at baseline are the same as the scores at midpoint are the same as the scores at end point. In other words, the, the intervention hasn't worked. Okay, and the alternative, uh, the alternative is that there is some difference. Okay, there is some change uh, across the scores. It could be the case that that it could be the case that uh, theta b is not equal to theta m, or theta let's say b is not equal to theta f, uh, uh, and so on and so forth. With lots of different pair paired pair pairwise comparisons we could make. But the alternative in this case is that there's some difference in here between the baseline, the mid, and the endpoint measurements. Okay, uh, in other words, there's been some change. The significance level we'll just do alpha. Let's say our significance, significance, okay. Uh, we'll just do alpha is equal to 0 0.05. Uh, three, the test statistic. Well, we've just calculated the test statistic. Uh, it's F or is equal to, it's equal to 1.14, okay. Now we have to get our critical values. So our critical values for our critical Values. We have to look up a set of tables now uh, that are associated with the with the Friedman to F statistic. Okay, uh, so we're going to have to look up those particular tables. The degrees of freedom for the tables. The degrees of freedom is equal to K minus one. That's the number of groups minus one. In our case, it's three minus one is equal to two. So now we have the significance. We know the degrees of freedom, and now we'll be able to find our critical value. And uh, once we have our critical value, excuse me. Uh, we actually compare the critical values. Uh, we compare the, the value that we got, the test statistic, to the critical value. Uh, if the critical value is less than, if the, if the test statistic is bigger than the critical value, we reject. It's the typical way to do this. So let's actually have a look at our tables here. So I'm using, once again, I've been using non-parametric statistics here by Corder and Foreman. I've been getting the, the non-parametric tables out of here. And this is the Friedman test. So I just need to find the Friedman sets of tables. Here's the Friedman test here. Uh, and uh, what we can actually see is, so this is the critical values for the Friedman test statistic. Uh, we have k the number of groups we've got three groups and n is the number of levels that we have so we have got one two three we've got we've got seven levels so here's seven here the alpha value is we're using a five percent uh, alpha value uh, so alpha is less than or equal to 0 0.05 here okay so here we go a seven three groups three groups uh, seven uh, gives us 7.143 I'll just move come, come a bit closer okay 7.143 is the critical value okay so now we get a critical value I don't know why degrees of freedom weren't actually taken into consideration there mm, okay. what did I say that was 7.143 okay so now we have our critical value for our F is 7.143 okay now the decision okay, which is step five in our hypothesis test the decision is we compare we compare the f or to the critical value okay uh, if it's bigger than if it's bigger than it we reject okay otherwise we fail to fail to reject otherwise we fail to reject okay and in this particular case here uh, what we have in this particular case here we have where am I gone to? We have our F R is I said it here, our F R is one point one four. So clearly clearly F R which is equal to one point one four is is not bigger than seven point one four three, which is our C of F. So this isn't bigger than it. We only reject if it's bigger than it. So in other words we're failing to reject and and thus and so we fail we fail to reject H zero. There is no evidence to suggest. There's no evidence to suggest that the intervention had an effect, and that the effect was 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 observed across baseline, midpoint, and endpoint. Okay, so there was no there was there was there was there was no uh, evidence to suggest that. So in this case here, we failed to reject the null hypothesis. Okay. 
Uh, okay. Okay, guys, once again, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert of the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And I hope that this video, uh, another video in our series of videos dealing with non-parametric statistics, and in particular concentrating on the Friedman test, uh, which is a related samples test when we have more than two, more than two, let's say, excuse me, more than two measurement points, okay? Uh, the example is, and the measurements are on the same individuals or the same objects, okay? So it's like dependent, it's related, it's paired, yeah, uh, paired, paired observations. Okay, guys, once again, uh, I hope that this video was intuitive and more importantly, I hope that was helpful for you and thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye.